Hey guys, Bradham73 here, and today is November 3rd, 2015, and I just got done recording. That's probably why my hair's all messed up, because uh, I had my headset on. I just got done recording, I think it's episode 8 of Farming Simulator, season 2, so Farmulator, Farming Simulator 15. <laughs> 15 season 2 episode 8 I think and I'm talking about how my Mad Cats rep said they were going to ship me out one of these bad boys um, and it was supposed to get here like November 6th well today's the 3rd and unexpectedly this box showed up and it says PC Psy Farm Sim Controller so this is going to be my unboxing video for the new uh SciTech slash Mad Cats. Don't really know what to call it, but it's the farming sim wheel and uh, side panel, I think. So I'm going to get started right now and we're going to see um, what, uh, what it's like. So here we go. Pull out my trusty knife here. And oh, no, I can't show you that side of the box because. Somebody will blow up my address, and then I'm going to have, like, stalkers looking in my window, um, doing inappropriate things, and stuff like that. All right, first impression. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Okay. <laughs> Let's um, see if I can pull this out. Oh, I feel like I'm taking a poop right... Oh, sorry about that, guys. Yes. Very nice box. There we have it, guys. With Farming Simulator 15 Gold Edition. Awesome. All right, so... Anything special? Bring your tractor home without the mud. There, <laughs> there it is, guys. All right, get that piece of cardboard in there. I, that's good, I need a big box like that to pack some stuff away. So thank you, SciTech slash MadCats. All right, we are going to open it from this side here. We've got um, all the different things that it can do. Nothing really special, typical stuff that you see on the outside of the box. I don't really care so much about that right now. I actually care more about what's inside the box. Oh, we got another piece of tape here. Got tons of cardboard up top and big empty piece of cardboard. Okay, here's the con here's one of the consoles. We've got precision control pack. So some documentation there. More. These are just box spacers. This actually has something in it. Oh, these are the control pedals. Um, let's go ahead and pop those out, I guess. Hopefully I'm getting this on camera here. Uh-oh. I just ripped something off. Oh, it's like a little... It's like a bumper, I guess, from... It stays there from, you know, so that your pedals don't hit the box or hit the casing. What is this? Oh, you fold this out so that it's just more non-stick. Or, I don't know, more non-movable. It's more not movable, I guess. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh, it's like, it's on there. All right. Throw that away. Um, ooh, do I want the steering wheel? Let's pull out the steering wheel first. Um, okay, nothing else is there. So we've got the steering wheel here. Pull that out. It's pretty nice. This this uh, little ball here is a little bit smaller than I was kind of expecting it to be. Um, it's not force feedback, it's spring driven, but um, it actually, you know, from just like a driving perspective, it's all right. Uh, we've got controllers here, I'm assuming to look around. We've got uh, buttons, one, two, three, four, and we've got arrow keys here. 
We've got a horn button here in the center, which doesn't really feel great. Um, it's not really inspiring me with tons of confidence because it's all plastic. It's nice heavy duty plastic. Um, the, the pedals, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's a little bit cheaper plastic though it, you know, it's flexing here. I, they should have really done this for, um, you know, with metal. And for 300 bucks, you know, the MSRP is 299. I think that's a high price to pay for, you know, a, a steering wheel that's not reinforced with plastic. Um, last but not least, we have the control module here. And I'm just going to pull this out. Let's get these pieces of cardboard. I'm just going to throw them back in the box for right now. And close that off. We're going to set that off to the side here. And then here is the control button. So, yeah, all the colors. We've got pink and orange and yellow. Uh, oh, these look like toggle switches, but they're just buttons. So I don't know if they go up or down, but it just feels like you push in on them. Like I would, they, but they look like, you know, if you push down, they would toggle, but they don't. Um, this is kind of a cheaply made, let's see here. This is kind of a cheaply made uh, scroll wheel here. Doesn't really have the resistance. I actually thought it was going to be rubberized but it's not. We've got a couple more buttons over here, but you know, the, the, the buttons are pretty nice. And then we have the joystick, which can rotate and it can move around. It is slightly rubberized, so that's pretty cool. And then it has a couple buttons here. I think these are for changing modes. Um, so I'll have to experiment with that um, for a while. So let's see, as far as connectors go, this is USB, uh, this is USB, so there's no external power adapter that I see. The, um, the pedals connect with a little control uh, cable here, and there's no disc or anything in here, so I'm going to assume, oh, there's a big button, there's a big button right here in the center too, I'm not sure, so maybe as you're, you know, using this you can hit that control. Uh, anyway, I just noticed that as I was looking at it. Let me turn this around. Yeah, there's like a little phone jack right here in the side of the wheel where your your uh, uh, foot pedals connect to that. So, let's uh, continue to open this up and um, this is just like tech, you know, technical support, warranty information, athletic support, that kind of stuff. Quick start guide. Plug the USB connector into an available USB port on your PC. Your computer will automatically detect and load the drivers for your new game controller. If your product is programmable and came with supplied CD, which this one clearly doesn't, insert a okay. <coughs> That's useless. Um, full manual, we've got a little QR code here, um, down on the back side of the manual, so I guess I'll have to take a picture of that with my QR code reader and see how that, uh, that works. Um, here we have just a quick setup instructions. Um, it says heavy equipment wheel, side panel control deck, pedals, um, it has a picture of A plugging this the steering wheel in to the uh, computer, B plugging this in, C plugging the pedals into the controller. Um, oh, wait, 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 no, there's a one, two, and three. So one, I guess this is step one, is going to be plugging this into this. Step two is plugging both this and this USB cable into your computer. And thank God I got a ton of USB cable 
connectors on my PC. And uh, number three, it says, it just has Farming Simulator 15 on there. So, and then it says not included, which, um, I guess I didn't get the version that includes Farming Simulator, um, cause it's not in the box anywhere. So, but that's all right. I already have it. No big deal. Um, unfold the foot pedal plate, which I've done there. Removing and moving the turn knob. Oh, so it's talking about this little turning knob. Um, there's two screws on the back. Uh, it looks like uh, it looks like they're just two small Phillips head screws, the little cross head screws, and. Um, There's no software, so I am just expecting to plug this in and it to work beautifully. Um, we shall see uh, if that actually turns out to be the case. I am not 100% convinced that it's going to be easy, as easy as they're making it out to be. But, um, I mean, overall, let's see here. I have a Logitech G27 right now, full disclosure. Um, Aside from, aside from sending me a nice controller, um, I'm not in any, I don't feel obligated in any way to tell people that this is like the awesomest thing ever. Um, I mean, that's not really a sign that it's like a high quality wheel because the, the wheel itself can shift around like that. Um, Oh, we also have buttons on the back here, but the fact that the steering wheel is really wobbly, I mean, it's, it's, it's on the table. I can't wobble this. This is wobbly. That's not a good sign. Um, and I'm just going to kind of, this isn't where I'm going to be playing, obviously, but I just want to kind of put this on the table here just to give you some initial impressions on how I feel about the feel. One of the nice things about the screw downs or the, the table mounts is they're they got these big rubber pads on them. So I don't feel like this is going to go anywhere. My Logitech G27 does not have that, but it's a much, much better built steering wheel. So this, this I'm really worried about. Um, and I'm going to have to contact my sales rep and see uh, if that's normal or, or if maybe they need to ship me a new wheel. Um, the control panel, you know, there's no indication on what any of these buttons do. I have absolutely no idea what anything does. Um, they just have numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, so we've got 10, 16, 20, 24. Uh, the little... Uh, kind of roller knob on the just to the left of the joystick says 26 and 27. Maybe that's for lifting the front loader, maybe? I don't know. Um, the joystick, I think, is mainly going to be for, uh, especially it's going to be useful for forestry, you know, picking up trees. Hopefully this will make that a breeze, but I don't know. Tr trees, breeze, okay. Um, but again, Overall, aside from this, which I'm really worried about, um, aside from the, uh, the wobbly steering wheel, um, it's actually pretty good. Now, what will really impress me is if all these little buttons light up, but looking at how they're made, it just looks like they're solid plastic, and I'm not really guessing that they're going to light up. Um, if you are a diehard farming simulator fanatic, my initial impression is if you can get it for 200 bucks, go for it. This is pretty cool. I actually do like the console, um, and I am going to test to see whether this console will work with my G27. I'm also going to test to see if this wheel will work with games like Euro Truck and other games. So that that's something. Um, the steering, you know, if I use the little crank. Um, it is, I believe it's supposed to be 920 degrees of steering. Um, let's see here. So we have, where's the stop? Okay. So there's 360, 720, 
and then 720 plus yeah, so that'd be nine uh, plus 180 is 900. So yeah, that's 900 degrees. So that's what we want to see. Um, one more thing, I'm just gonna look. Uh, eh. Wait, which way am I screwing here? <laughs> eh. Eh. All right, got that. Um, now I want to unscrew this because I just want to see, yeah, I don't see anything on the bottom here that would help me tighten up this steering wheel. So I don't know, it's possible that maybe it got broken transit, but um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it even comes in and out. Like if I can take the whole thing and push it in and out slightly. So I'll just have to mess around with it. Maybe that's part of this, this wheel. Um, if I had to, you know, again, if I had to consult, or if you had me as your only consultant, uh, I'm going to be honest. I think the price is a bit steep. 300 bucks for a wheel just for farming simulator is not for everybody. If you've got the disposable income and you really like farming simulator, you play it, you know, probably an hour or a day or more. I think I could probably say, go for it. If you can find it for less than like, you know, around 200 bucks, I think would be a fair price, especially for something that's all plastic. Um, my Logitech G27, which has got tons of metal parts in it, it has metal foot pedals um, and force feedback, meaning the steering wheel will actually like jolt and turn against you, um, was only $240. Now it is an older wheel, and I believe the new one is like $400, the one that's going to be replacing it. I think it's like the Logitech G29 or, or something like that. Um, it's got a ton of metal parts on it though i think the newer version doesn't come with a shifter like the old 20 d27 does but but anyway that said um i think i still think that the price is kind of steep on on this i, I will be honest and SciTech might know that it's not going to be for everybody but um like i said if you're die hard if you you know if you can find it less than the 299 i think i when i checked on amazon the other day, uh, it was two hundred ninety nine ninety nine in the United States. I don't really know what it's what it is outside of the United States. Um, I found some people in Europe. Some of my friends have said that they got it for like two hundred euro or something like that. So I just don't know. You're gonna have to you know check uh, where you're from, see what the price is like, and then if you find out that it's you know you've got the extra money and you want to pull the trigger, go for it. Um, from now on though, I haven't tested it with the game, so it could be like the most horrible gaming experience that I've ever encountered. I hope that that's not the case. Um, but I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna see how it uh, see how it operates. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this unboxing um, helpful in any way, please hit that like button. Please comment, let me know what you think of the farming wheel, and please subscribe for this and many more videos. I am Bradham73, and we will see you guys next time. Bye for now.